to another Will It Waffle! That's right, the only place you go to find out if anything and everything will waffle because on this channel, we waffle everything! Get excited today, today's gonna be a great one! I went to Olive Garden and I got something awesome, I got something special, I got something I've never had before and I thought to myself, hmm, what do we do with stuff? Well, we waffle it! So today, we're going to waffle something from Olive Garden. Now, if you read the title, you already know I'm going to waffle, and it's going to be great. But I'm going to show you firsthand. Oh, Betsy Gamer, that's Mr. Beast 2. How you doing today, Mr. Beast 2? Hope you're doing great. Welcome back. Good job being number one today. So, let me tell you about my Olive Garden experience. I don't go to Olive Garden very often. There's one, it's about 45 minutes away. So when I go, it's like a special thing. I want me some unlimited breadsticks. I want me some pasta. I want me some salads. Olive Garden is great. So I went with uh, Storm. You guys know Storm. He's in a lot of my videos. Um, he's my best friend, so we like to hang out when we can. Uh, Storm and his wife. So we all went together and we had lunch. And I'm like, hmm, they have unlimited soup and salad. So I'm like, well... Well, <laughs> don't twist my arm to give me unlimited soup and salad. I could soup and salad for days. They're going to definitely lose a profit on this one. So there was four types of soup, and uh, I never had soup Zupa Toscana before. I don't even know what Zupa Toscana means. So this was an interesting experience for me, but I had to try it. So let's go ahead and take a look and let you guys see what it looks like. Olive Garden, I don't know your song. All right. So we got it right here, and I wrote it on the container because I didn't think I could remember it. <laughs> so I wrote it, Zupa Toscana. That that's my that's my handwriting. <laughs> so look at it. Let's see what it is, and uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting. So we're not only gonna give it a good little test run. We're gonna turn it. Well, I mean, we're gonna see what it tastes like. We're gonna see what it's all about, and then we're gonna waffle it. Because <laughs> I mean, come on, you guys. You guys know. What do we do on this channel? We waffle everything! So let's take a look at Zupa Toscano and see exactly what we're gonna get ourselves into. Now, first off, I can see that there's some lettuce in here, and it looks like it's like a milky broth. It's very soupy. I mean, it's soup, it should be. Um, but what's awesome about it is there are big, big chunks of t uh, potato in here. Let's give you guys a better look. Let's get a good look at Zupa Toscana. Oh yeah, look at that. So there's a lot of potato in there and some big chunks too. There's uh, some lettuce in here. And then all that brown stuff is sausage. So let me go ahead and take a little taste for science and see what we're getting into. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a good little hearty soup in here. This is for science. So I have to make sure I get a good spoonful, right? Got to make sure it's worth it. Got to give science its due, of course, for science. For science. And... Mmm. Hmm. Okay. Definitely a soup. And a lot of times you'll eat a soup and you'll be like, why do they call this a soup? This is definitely a soup. It's a lot of liquid, even though there's chunks in it. It's mostly like liquid with eating chunks is what I get. I, I get the impression. Um, it's pretty good. Now, the thing I don't really like about the flavor so much is it kind of feels like, you guys ever watch that uh, YouTube guy? Um, original sausage. Hey, Colin, good to see you. Um, it kind of tastes like somebody made a good sausage, cut it open after it was finished, and then put it in a bowl of milk and added some other stuff to it. So it's good, but it feels like it should be something else. Look, I'd rather just eat the sausage and drink the milk. Not like, there's no reason to cut up a sausage and mix it in the milk. So I like it. It's okay, but not my real choice of soup. I want a little bit more hardiness to my soup. I want some more, you know, instead of spicy, that's a spicy meatball, instead of a spicy sausage, I'd rather have like, you know, maybe just chunks of meats. I don't know. Maybe it's just my taste. Definitely Italian. 100% Italian flavor. I'm eating this. I'm like, oh, that's a spicy meatball. Yeah, give me some more. Go ahead, Sergio. Make me some more Zupa Toscana. So it's good, though, but I think we're going to have a lot more fun turning this into a waffle. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and get this. Um, so what we're going to do today is I'm thinking about it. Do I want to put it in the blender? And I'm thinking, you know what? Let's not. Let's not blender it today. 
Let's leave it as is because it's already real, real liquidy. Panther just left. Panther's here. You guys are here. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you guys. I mean, come on. It's waffle day. We're making a waffle. And you guys, whoever thought about turning Zupa Toscana into a waffle? I mean, think about it. There's like billions of Italian people who have eaten Zupa Toscana and never, not even one of them ever thought, hmm, uh, this is delicious. So I want to turn this into a waffle. It is time to do it for science. No. No. You got that domination reading channel right here. Gonna turn some Zupa Toscana into a waffle. So let's go ahead and get our bowl out. And let's just go through this. Now, it's got a lot of liquid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of take some of the liquid out. And we're going to put the Zupa Toscana right in the bowl. You know what? I am going to I am gonna blender it. I'm thinking blender is probably a good idea. Because look at the consistency of this. It's like milky soup and chunks. And that's basically it. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get this in the blender. And besides, I'm going to tell you guys a little secret. I'm sure you already know about me. I like the blender stuff. I like it. I mean, just, just there's something like cathartic about blendering everything. <laughs> and it's also seeing interesting how things taste differently after they like, put into a blender. It's like, hmm, why does it taste different? All right, so let's go ahead and just dump it right in there. Oh yeah, Zupa Toscana, get in there. It looks like there's some mushrooms in there too. There's some mushrooms, a lot of potatoes. Um, the broth. Just dump some broth in there. There we go. All right, you Italians. You Italians. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go ahead and give this a blend. There's Zuppa Toscana. Blending. Ready? Oh, yeah. That's what you do with soup. You blend it. There we go. Yeah, get that in there. That's some good soup right there. It's like a soup smoothie. Get it really good. We want a really nice consistency. There we go. Oh, don't worry. More people show up. More people like it. We got waffles for days, guys. Waffles for days. All right, so let's take a look at this mixture we got right here. There we go. So it's a lot more thick now, of course, because we blended it. And it blended up really, really nicely. Let's take a look. Yeah, now it kind of looks like baby food. <laughs> we got baby food Zupa Toscana now. All right, let's go ahead and pour this into the bowl. I mean, it looks kind of gross. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it looks a little gross. It's okay, though. It's, it's, it's going to be amazing. I'm sure. That, I'm sure. What do you guys think? You guys think this is going to waffle well? How do you guys think it's going to taste? And more importantly, what do you think the kitties are going to think? I hope the kitties like it. I, I, I never know. I, I, I gave up trying to guess if the cats are going to like it. My cats like some things that they should never like. And they just like some things that like they, they're supposed to like. I don't get it with these cats. Uh, you think it's just going to... No, no, of course not. Of course not. Here we go. And then we're going to mix it in. I don't know why I'm still using the spoon. I should be using the fork. The fork's on the plate right next to me, but I, I got the spoon in my hand. So I'm like, hmm, it's what's in my hand. It's what I'm going to use. Now, all I'm using with the Zupa Toscana is uh, just self-rising flour, nothing else. And we're going to use probably one more scoop should be enough. It's, uh, it's absorbing really well. It does now look a lot like baby food. A lot. Especially the thicker it gets. It's like, I would expect, this is like the new thing for, for Italian people. Like, hey, we've got the new baby. we got the new baby. Let's get the baby some carrots. And then we, we, we get, uh, get the baby some, uh, some broccoli and, and some, some creamed corn. Oh, and look at this, Monsieur. They want to, what kind of accent is this? Okay, let's just roll with it. They want to, uh, let's get some uh, baby uh, carrots. And of course, don't forget the Zupa Toscana. A uh, uh, baby needs to eat Zupa Toscana. Start them off early. It does. Maybe some little sausages. Mm, blend them up nicely. Okay, it's almost that consistency that I want. It's really close. There we go. You guys see how it's getting all nice and thick? Now, it's kind of like right now when you're at the beach and you grab a handful of sand and you like it's, it's like solid, but you start tapping it and it gets liquidy. When it gets to that spot, you're just about where you want it to be. You guys have done that. You guys have had sand before, right? You tap the sand and the water starts to rise. So this, that's, that's the consistency. That, I, I thought that's the, the perfect way to find out when it's ready to put something on the waffler. And that's basically where we're at right now. Kind of like a little bit loose cookie dough almost. 
make Tiscana or Zupa Tiscana cookies. <laughs> okay, so let's get the waffle maker ready. Let's give it a spray. And I can't believe I'm already getting it everywhere. It's all over my hands and everything. I can never make a clean waffle. Every time I have like an hour cleanup afterwards. But that's what we do. We do that for science, guys. We do that for you. You guys get the real deal experience out of this. You get to see Dom mess up his kitchen every day for these waffles. I mean, oh, the jack o' lantern episode. Oh man, I clean. I had to like two hours of cleanup. Two hours of cleanup. Hey, Arch the last one. You did. welcome back, Letterman. Nice to see you. All right. So the waffle maker is sprayed. Um. Oh, gotta pull the camera back. I forgot this is the new camera, so you can't see things at the same angle. Okay, there we go. Um. Here we go. Let's go ahead and put it on, and you're gonna see the world's first Zupa. Toscana waffle. Now that's probably a big thing, you guys. This is actually a very famous, very popular soup. And we're turning it into a waffle. Come on, that, that's something you gotta think about. All right, so let's go ahead and taste it with the flour and give it a little taste and see what this is like. There's a good chunk on there. Wow. Okay, now that's interesting. It still tastes very, very much like Zupa Toscana, but it feels like kind of like someone took like unfinished bread like bread that was still like a little bit wet in the middle and mixed it together hmm so let's see how it works out savory waffle time absolutely all right so let's go ahead and put it down flip it over and we are now officially making zupa toscana waffles why come on guys why do we do this because on this channel we waffle everything yeah get your fingers in there jazz hands ah! all right so let's get this going. And now while this is going, I'm kind of curious how many calories are in Zupa Toscana? How would you even figure that out? Well, how am I going to figure it out? Alexa, how many calories are in a cup of Zupa Toscana? Here's something I found on the web. According to dietbites.com, contains about 53 calories per cup. What? What the hell? It's, it's healthy, healthy. Not just healthy, it's healthy, healthy. She said 53 calories per cup, and we only just used about a half a cup. So we're about to make a 26-calorie waffle out of Zupa Toscana. Now, remember what I always tell you guys, a regular buy a box of batter, mix it up, make a waffle is usually about 720 calories. Waffles have a lot of calories. A pancake's about 350 Waffles are very, very unhealthy if you're thinking about calories. Um, this one's going to have 20, 26 calories. Uh, some of the waffles look really bad. Some are good, though, like the pumpkin, for example. True, true. All right, so yeah. So this is going to be a very, very healthy waffle. I mean, wow, 26 calories. That's, that's amazing. Like, I, I ate, like, three bowls of it. <laughs> And I'm feeling like, oh man, I'm gonna get fat eating soup. But no, it's only 26 calories. I didn't even <laughs> that wasn't even 100 calories. And normally for dinner, you know, you want to eat around you know three to 500 calories. So I could have eaten like 10 more bowls. <laughs> yes, healthy. <laughs> All right, so already we're seeing what we're looking for. We're getting the condensation on the side pretty quickly, but I mean, it's it's a, a, a soup, so of course we're gonna have a lot of condensation. And this is going to be a little bit more condensation than normal. It's already bubbling on the outside. We got some uh, grease forming on the outside. Maybe that's from the sausage. We're going to have to take a, a paper towel to that and examine that. For science. Science gets its due. Why we do? Because science do. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look. What is this grease right here? Yeah, that's definitely a grease. And that's coming out of the waffle maker. There it is. See? That's got to be from the sausage. Because there is a lot of sausage in this. I would say this is sausage residue. Yep. And so when it's boiling, it's, it, all that condensate is coming from the soup. So the oil that's condensating is sticking to the uh, waffler while the water is sticking to this side for some reason. It oil on, or, uh, um, yeah, oil on this side and then steaming off. So that's really interesting. It's really interesting that it's separate like that. Okay. But uh, this shouldn't take too long either. I wouldn't think so. If, since it's so much liquid, a lot of it's going to burn out. So I'm really curious what the waffle is going to look like. Um, maybe I should have added more Zupa Toscana. I don't know. You see, I've never done this before. 
So every time I, I, I um, try it, you never know the right amounts. So I'm always surprised by what the waffles look like. They've been turning out pretty good, though, since we started using the self-rising flour. But we stopped using eggs, and we just go at it. And this is really interesting. So, Zupa! Zupa Toscana! I don't even know what Zupa Toscana means. Do any of you guys, like, do you, any of you guys uh, Italian? Any of you guys got that Italian speech? Can you guys tell me what Zupa Toscana means? I mean... I know it means maybe sausage, sausage in water. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think you definitely have to have a taste for Zupa Toscana to like it. I think it's all right. Um, it's not something I really want to have often or maybe ever. I don't know. Because there's so many good soups out there. I'm a, I'm a soup fan, okay? I would like to consider myself somewhat of a connoisseur of soups. But I like certain soups, I guess. I like my soups to have broccoli. I like my soups to have cheese. I like my soups to have potatoes. So when this had potatoes in it, I'm like, yeah, let's give this a try. But I will tell you, if you guys ever go to uh, Olive Garden, try the chicken something, whatever it's called. That chicken something soup, woo, knock your socks off, mama, it's good. Oh, there's the green light. We got the green light, guys, a little bit early. I didn't think it was bad. I didn't think it was going to be that soon, but let's give it a look. We're going to flip it over. Everybody get ready, drum roll. The world's first Zupa Toscana waffle. Boom. Woo! Look at that beautifulness right there. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, my best, the best soup, that's a really tough call. Because like I said, I like a lot of different soups. Um, I like a lot of different soups. That's a really, really tough question. Uh, I like uh, cheese and broccoli soup a lot. I, I, <laughs> there's just too many. <laughs> there's too many. Uh, I like clam chowder. I mean, there's just there's so many soups I like. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, I, I will do more soups in the future so you guys can see a taste of some of the soups I like. But look at this, guys. Look, it turned out nice. Oh, it's got a really good consistency, too. Look at the color. Um, uh, ah, yes, chicken something soup next time. You'll order a no, if, if, you go, if you go to Olive Garden and say, I want the chicken something soup, they'll know what you mean. Because there's only four soups, and only one of them is chicken something. So if you want the chicken something soup, they're not going to give you soup at Toscana. Because there's no chicken in Zupa Toscana. That leaves it only down to other two choices. One of them is a bean soup, which is really good. So it's obviously not going to be the bean soup, which will leave your, your chicken something and then something else. I don't remember what the something else is, but there's no chicken in it. So if you say the chicken something, you can't go wrong. Logic it, baby! All right, so let's go ahead and check out this waffle. It's got a real oh, it's, it's got a real good consistency, though. Let's take a look on the plate. Um, I, it, it waffled very, very nicely. Uh, I like how it feels. I like how it looks. That That's the waffle. You guys, this is Zupa Toscana soup. This is this. This turned into this. That's what we do on this channel. We turn moi into uh into huh. Let's so give you that one more time. We turn moi into huh into uh. <laughs> and you get Zupa Toscana soup waffle. <laughs> all right, let's give this a try. Um, why do you know all the soups on the Olive Garden menu? Because I was just there! I was just there! I, I may have the memory of a goldfish, but I can remember uh, four soups I had. <laughs> it just happened. It's like, I went to Mc... No, actually, I haven't been to McDonald's in like a year. Um, uh, let's see. Let's just say, we'll use McDonald's as the example. I went to McDonald's and I ordered a Big Mac and fries. Well, how do you remember the McDonald's menu? Because it's what they have! I was just, no. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and give this a try and see how it tastes. All right, here we go. Now, if you, you know, hold on a second before we do this. Listen, I like I said, I may have the memory of a goldfish, but I can do weird stuff, okay? Check this out. Check this out really fast. Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, John Quincy Adams, Jackson, Van Buren, Harrison, Tyler, Polk, Wilson, Fillmore, Pierce, Buchanan, Lincoln, Johnson, Grant, Hayes, Garfield, Arthur, Cleveland, Harrison, Cleveland, McKenzie, Theodore, Roosevelt, Taft, Wilson, Harding, Coolidge, Hoover, Franklin, Delano, Roosevelt, Truman, Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy, Johnson, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, Bush, Obama, Trump, Biden. Okay? I can remember stuff. Thank you very much. If I can remember every president in order that the United States has ever had, I can remember four, well, three of the four waffles from Olive Garden, or soups from Olive Garden, Okay? Boom, baby. Boom. All right, so let's give this a taste. Zupa Toscana waffle. How does it taste? Oh. Oh, wow. Hmm. Oh, 
You guys, it tastes like I'm eating soup. I mean, I am eating soup, but, you know, normally when you blend something and put it in the waffle, it tastes different. It comes out different. This actually tastes... Let me give you a good representation of what this looks like. It, 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 it took, like, like I got a piece of bread, okay? A piece of garlic bread, actually, and I smashed it. And then I put in little pieces of, of sausage, and I rolled it up, and then I dipped it in milk and ate it. That's what it tastes like. It's pretty good. Um, it's not something I would eat often, but this is actually a very tasty waffle. It, it tastes the Italiano. I can taste the Italiano in the waffle, and I don't think I've had a waffle ever taste Italiano before. Um, it's pretty good. For taste-wise, um, I'm only going to give it a, um, let's give it a 3.5. Because it's not like, you know, boom, flavorful. I'm definitely eating Zuppa Toscana, but it definitely tastes Italian, and you can taste the sausage strongly. I like it. It, 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 it's not like so good, it's not bad, so it's definitely better than average, so we're going to give it a 3.5, uh, that's, that's, if I was a fan of Zuppa Toscana, this would be a better waffle, it might be personal preference why it's getting a 3.5 instead of a 4, but you know what, I think that's a fair evaluation, it did waffle beautifully though, um, let's go ahead and try something, I never thought we'd put syrup on Zuppa Toscano, but let's put, a uh, Toscana, let's put some uh, syrup on it and see what that does. Let's introduce, let's introduce the Canadians. Let's introduce the Canadians to the Italians. This will be the, be the beautiful mix of two different uh, nations, two different cultures. Here we go. Here we go. Canadians, Canadians <laughs> and Italians, let's be friends. Let's have peace together. Let's have peace and share our cultures as one. Here we go. Zuppa Toscana and maple syrup. Wow, okay now, hold on. All right. It's like this really pretty Canadian girl was like, oh, I'm just a Canadian girl, have a good day, how about you? And this Italian guy comes up, oh, la la, 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 la I'm a nice Italian guy. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, how are you today? I'm doing good. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening in my mouth right now. It is a beautiful pair. A beautiful match, and there's there's harmony happening. I would never have thought had somebody told me, yeah, put some maple syrup in Zuppa Toscano, and it's going to be delicious. That is good. That would raise the point from three point five to four point five. Not kidding. Um, wow, I <laughs> that was I am shocked. That was unexpected. I need some more. I need some more uh, culture merging in my mouth right now. Let's let's merge some more of this culture. Um, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that that's just... I, <laughs> why does that work? Why does that work? It works. I don't know why, but it does. All right. So now we get to do the, the big thing. Let's do what the kitties think. Let's do what the kitties think. So let's go ahead and chop a little bit of it up. I'm going to go ahead and leave some of it in the maple syrup because that's just good. Um, honestly, um, the first the first time, the first couple bites, I was like, "Yeah, Zuppa Toscana waffle, pretty good, three point five. But man, that the maple syrup elevated it. It it jumped up. And my kitties deserve to get the jump up. My kitties need some culture. Let's give my cats some culture. Okay, here we go. We got the uh, the waffle right here, and we're gonna see what the kitties think. I hope they come. I hope they come see it. I know Loki will. All right. Here, kitty, 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 kitties, Loki socks. Come here, babies. Who wants some waffles? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Come here, babies. Loki socks? Question mark? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Don't, no, don't be camera shy now. Where the video is happening? Where are they at? Oh, there's me. Sock, socks just took off. Socks! Socks! They never come when you call. Yeah, it's, it's, it, normally they come no matter what. If, if I'm like doing anything, if I'm doing dishes, if I'm just walking around my kitchen, they come. But when I'm making waffles, they know. And they're like, nope. We know what he does with these waffles. Nope. Loki, come here, baby. I see you. Loki, baby. Look at Honey, don't you want some waffles? Oh, oh, what? Oh, now you're interested? It smells good, so you're interested? Come on. Come on, sweetie. All right, so we're going to take Loki into the kitchen. Come on. Come on, baby. 
Loki, come on. He's he's looking at socks. No, Loki, this way. That's not where the kitchen is. Loki, come on. Come on, let's go to the kitchen, baby. Go to the kitchen. Loki, come on, baby. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Come on, baby. Come on, kitty. There you are. There you are. Come on. All right, here he comes. Good kitty. Good kitty. Look, Loki, it's Italian. It's Zuppa Toscana. You want to try some Zuppa Toscana? How many kitties get to eat Italian waffles? Is it a good baby? <gasps> what? You don't want it? Oh my gosh, he eats the weirdest stuff and you don't want Zuppa Toscana? Loki, it's actually pretty good. I like it, honey. Here, try it. Oh, now he likes it. He's like, well, since you're going to feed it to me, I guess I can give it a try. Um, I'm going to say that's a yes. Oh, what do you guys, that's definitely a yes. He had to be coaxed to try it. I don't think he liked the smell, but he likes the taste. And I, I don't blame him. It doesn't smell very good. It smells like milky waffles. Oh, but he's into it. He's definitely into it. Um, that's a four. Um, he, it's not a five because he don't like the smell. But he definitely likes the taste. He's chewing it. Well, there you go, guys. There you go. He eat, eat it up. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys, there you go. Zupa Toscana waffles. Um, 3.5 for flavor. Um, turns into a waffle very well. We're going to give it a 4.5. And then the kitties get a 4. We're going to give this overall a 4 for waffling. Zupa Toscana waffles, you get a 4. I'm the Zupa Toscana waffle challenge. Do you like it, baby? You're pretty key. Thank you for trying it. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys for watching Dominic's Reading Channel. If you guys had a good time, let me know. Give a like and down below. Click that little thumbs up button so that tells other people, hey, this is a good video. You guys go watch. You guys go watch right now. Try the Zoom, but this kind of um, And also, thank you guys very much if you made it to the end of the video. I appreciate it. If you guys have other waffles that you want to see, leave a comment down below. Um, there's a very good chance that if you suggest a waffle, you'll see it on this channel. Because on this channel, we waffle everything so thank you guys very much for watching this nomination reading channel with the zupa toscana waffle challenge and i'll see you guys next waffling bye guys zupa toscana waffle challenge completed nom canadians mm, delicious